This tutorial will show you how to design and animate a Knight in the Woods style character. The game itself is assembled in a modified version of Unity. Its art and animations are made in Adobe software, including Photoshop and After Effects. You do not need these programs for this tutorial. This tutorial is about imitating the art, so as long as you grasp the fundamentals of the style, you can recreate it in whatever programs you use. Night in the Woods is all animals, but you can draw humans in this style too. Let's start with character design. The most important part is to restrict everything to basic shapes and flat colors. Gradient shading is extremely rare, the best example being May's dyed hair tuft, and almost all characters are solid color with no fur patterns. So if you can avoid markings or break them down to something really simple, like a single spot or stripe, that's what you want. Simplify your design. Speaking of that, no tails or wings, and characters need clothes. Clothing does not melt into the shape of the body. Back leg, back arm, and neck are a few shades darker. Sometimes the back ear and the bottom jaw are darker, too. For characters that have a long nose, draw the head from the side with only one eye. Short nose, two eyes with the mouth and nose as lines on the face. Almond eye shapes, with the pupils almost always left or right facing. It's very rare to see the pupils centered, but it does happen. The white of the eye should be yellow. Eyeshadow can make your character look more feminine, and if the character has glasses, no eyes at all. Noodle arms and legs with shoes and three finger hands, no balls or nubs. Details might be jewelry, a symbol on a shirt, hat, eyebrows, whisker lines, hair tufts. Those are some examples of simple shape details you can add to make your design stand out. Just be careful not to overload your character with props and features. Those are the fundamentals of Night in the Woods character design. Animating the character is much easier if you have an IK or bone rigging system available, so I'm going to make the art in Illustrator and animate it in After Effects. If you don't have bones, you'll have to draw a little bit more to get different arm and leg shapes. Make a separate part for each piece of the puppet. Pupil, eye white, closed eye line, skull, ears, hair tuft, top jaw, bottom jaw. If you have a front-facing head, you don't need to worry about the jaw because the front heads don't open their mouths to talk. However, you can animate expressions with the mouth, so plan for that. Body, arm, leg. If you will be animating with bones, draw the arm and leg straight. You'll notice for this outfit, I had to separate the shirt straps under their own layer to overlap the arms. When the art is finished, it's time to rig the character. In After Effects, I'll import the Illustrator file as a composition with the dropdown set to layer size. Mask the pupil onto the eye white. Set the pivot points for every piece. If you're doing bones, add pins to the arm and leg. Duplicate them, place the copies in the right spots, and darken them. I'm going to pin the ears as well for floppy animation later. The character's rigged! Now we'll go over animating a blink, talking, and a run. To properly imitate the style, you need to be able to tween. If you're using a program where everything must be drawn frame by frame, you can still do it, but the results are gonna be more lively. Night in the Woods blinks have equal spacing on both sides. Some of the characters only blink from the top, and others use both the top and the bottom eyelids. Since I'm working in After Effects, I'll use a mask to create the eye shapes. Part open, middle, part down. Insert the closed eye line for three frames, Repeat the mask pattern backwards. Copy the mask onto the track matte layer, and there's your blink. I'll dump this into a pre-comp. If it were a complex animation, I could call up different eye animations inside the pre-comp by using time remapping. Another simple animation to test on your rig is talking. In the game, sometimes heads move up and down when they're talking, and sometimes they don't. So it's your choice. Side-facing heads open and close their mouths when they're talking. For After Effects, add a null object and pick whip all the head layers to control the whole thing at once. In Adobe Animate, you can use layer parenting or put head parts in a symbol. In Toon Boom, make a peg. Tween the head up and down, add some easing. 
between the jaw opening and closing. Done. Now let's do a run cycle. Starting with the arm, set the most extreme front pose and the most extreme back pose. If you have bones, use them to uncurl the arm in the downswing, otherwise it looks too stiff. Copy and paste the starting pose to the end of the timeline. For the leg, set three poses. The outstretched leg before impact, the leg before liftoff, the curled up leg ready to return to the front. And now add a copy of the outstretched pose to the end of the timeline. Use the space between these two poses to create a fourth pose by curling up the leg in place. That'll keep it from unfurling too soon. Once you duplicate the animation to the opposite limbs and shift them to start at the midway point, you will immediately see if your timing is bad. The fix might be as simple as changing what frame the opposite limb starts on, or you might need to manually drag frames to fix the timing. When your run is reasonable, add a control for the entire body. During one full run cycle, the body goes up and down twice. Every time a leg is touching the ground and straight, the body is pushed up to the highest point. The low point is as the foot hits the ground. Add some position and rotation change to the head at the same intervals as the up and down bobbing. You can give your run more pep by adding a keyframe right after the low point to suddenly drop it down even further. Add liveliness to the head by tweening the ears and hair. These floaty bits do the opposite of what the main body's doing. Body goes up, hair and ears go down. Trim your composition or symbol to the loop size if you haven't done that already. Place the composition on the timeline, set it to loop by right click, time, enable time remapping. Hold the alt key and click the stopwatch. Type loop out, then go to the last keyframe, keyboard key page up, add a new keyframe, and then delete the last keyframe. Extend the timeline. If the speed of your run doesn't feel right, you need to add or remove frames in between key poses. In After Effects, it's easier to right-click, time stretch, and decrease the value to speed up the animation. This run isn't as extreme as Maze Run, but it works. Toss in a few background layers and different Z-planes, and you're done. There's your Night in the Woods animation. If you enjoyed this Scribble Kibble tutorial, leave a like. Have a 2D style you want a tutorial for next? Leave a comment! Watch more animation tutorials like this at scribblekibble.com or look for the tutorial playlist on my YouTube page. See you later!